This video covers the top five things you want to know before you PCS to Korea. I'm also timestamping and putting all of these points in the description in the interest of saving you time so that you can jump to whatever points interest you or skip the video altogether. Let's get started. Point number one, Korea is fantastic for travel. It is an awesome jumping off point to visit anywhere in the Pacific. You can go to the Philippines, to New Zealand, Mongolia, wherever you want, China, Japan, for way less than it would ever cost you to travel from the States and way less time. You can go to the Philippines on a long weekend and Korea gives you lots of long weekends to travel. Also, by and large, the command teams encourage you to take the opportunity while you're in Korea to go travel. They'll also be doing the same thing. Take advantage of the fact that you can travel all over the Pacific and Korea will be an unforgettable experience for you. Point number two, Korea as a duty station gets a bad rap and part of it is for a good reason. Yes, there's a lot of cynical people in the army. Oftentimes your best station is your last duty station if you talk to a lot of people and everywhere is going to be what you make of it. That said, there are some complications with Korea due to the fact that most people are here for just one year. What does that matter? That means that systems are constantly being remade. Any annual event, annual training, most people will be doing it for the first time every single time. Whatever systems to make it more efficient and better run that were put in place last year are completely forgotten or only remembered by one or two people by the time the event comes around again. Also, leaders and teams are constantly rotated. Picture this, a squad leader gets on ground and within their first two and a half months of being a squad leader, all they've done is inventories. They took over their squad's property. A new platoon leader came in and we had to do inventories to switch over to the new platoon leader. Now there's pre-command inventories and command inventories because again, leaders are changing out all the time. Meanwhile, each soldier will have two to three different squad leaders during their one year tour in Korea. What does that say for consistent mentorship and discipline? Now, if you're working at above the company level, this also has an impact on staffing. There should be at least a two year calendar. That's what 2ID is working on right now, but it doesn't exist. So that means things like an order for the annual friendship concert gets published from the brigade level two weeks before the event. This is an annual event. It happens every year. It should be pretty much copy and paste from last year, but nobody was here last year. For families, unfortunately, this means a lot of times you'll make friends and pretty soon they'll leave. Item number three, one thing most people don't learn until they get here is that the air pollution in Korea is pretty bad. Many people when they get here will get something that's called the Korea crud. It's congested sinuses, headache, sore throat, stuffy nose. A friend and I both arrived to Korea around the same time. We hadn't been sick for years. We both got the Korea crud just because we weren't used to the level of air pollution that was here. I initially was wearing masks during bad air quality days and then ultimately I just decided not to worry about it and walked around and did whatever. It didn't matter what the air pollution was. But if somebody has asthma or has a pre-existing concern, it's probably worth taking a look at whether or not that'll affect you before you get here. Item number four, the climate. For planning purposes, just know that the climate is very similar to New York City or a New England type climate. There are longer winters and summers and then very short spring and fall. The winter gets down to about negative five. It gets pretty cold around the Camp Humphreys area, colder up north and warmer down south. The summers are pretty humid. Consistently, the temperatures are in the 90s and there are some monsoon rains. Item number five, traveling around Korea is fantastic. The people are incredibly kind, incredibly nice, and this is the safest place that you'll ever imagine. You can walk around on any street, any time of night, and not worry about your safety, security, anything happening. You can leave your stuff unlocked, not worry about it. Part of that is because they have CCTV cameras everywhere watching everyone, and part of that has to do with their collectivist culture. This is a great place for families, a great place to live, a fantastic place to come and experience for a year, two years, three years, whatever your tour is. Key Korean phrases. Hello, goodbye, thank you. 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요, 감사합니다. I will link a video to a Korean speaker in the description so that you can learn their pronunciation, not mine. But just attempting to learn the language shows respect for their culture and it, just those three words are a great asset to have in your toolkit as soon as you arrive here. If you do choose to come to Korea, I hope you have a fantastic tour. I do have additional tips that I think would be very useful, so I will be putting together a second video with five more tips. So stay tuned for a link in the description once I get that video made. 
Lastly, if you're preparing to come to Korea, check out the rest of my videos for homes that you might be able to move into, how the housing allowance works, and different adventures that you can take when you're in Korea. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this is valuable for you. Please comment below with your favorite tip, and I'll see you in the next video.